The world is anxiously holding its breath this week as the crisis in the Ukraine continues to escalate and the threats of invasion, incursion and sanctions are being thrown around. Russia has amassed an estimated 100,000 troops on the Ukrainian border. Joe Biden has readied 8,500 in response. Australia has branded the Ukraine, uh, Ukraine as a place not to travel to, do not travel while American diplomats have ordered the families of American personnel at the embassy there to leave. Joining me now to discuss these simmering tensions and more is Mark Higgy, The Spectator Australia's European correspondent and himself a former Australian ambassador to the European Union. Mark, it's great to see you. How are you? Oh, th uh, very well, Rowan. Thank you very much and thanks for having me on. Oh, pleasure. Any time. Now, Mark, can you give us a little background to this crisis and then, uh, you know, tell us, are they going to invade? Are they not going to invade? What's your take on it? Well, the background to all this is that uh, Putin has, has, has often made it clear that uh, he regards the end of the Soviet Union as a great tragedy. Um, uh, all of his neighbours, of course, would dispute that. <laughs> um, and um, uh, his, uh, his, 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 his approach to... Um, uh, the effrontery of the independence of uh, um, his Western neighbours has been to, uh, in, the, in previously, has been basically to smash them up a bit and, and make them into failed states. He did that in Georgia, Moldova, uh, Ukraine in, 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 in 2014. So um, uh, he, uh, he, he would, his, his, his objective would be to, to have uh, Ukraine as a... Um, uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a country under his, uh, under his control, uh, very much a, a satellite, you know, very much like on the Belarus uh, model. Um, uh, the problem is that that, that that can't be done with uh, minimal cost. Um, if, if, if Putin could uh, get away with, um, with getting a, a Kremlin-controlled government in Kiev and having uh, Ukraine under his control without cost, he'd do it right now. There, there's no doubt about that. But of course, the cost is uh, is, uh, is is very significant. Now, um, I don't think he probably worries all that much about the Western response. He's got the measure of Biden, particularly after the debacle in Afghanistan. We've got a, a new German government with uh, the Greens controlling uh, foreign policy. So, uh, you know, uh, I mean, if, uh, uh, if if he were to go in, there'd be uh, there'd be all sorts of denunciations and noise and so forth. But uh, nothing, uh, um, nothing that would uh, probably worry him all that much. Probably the thing that would, that will stay his hand, and I and I think and I think an invasion is unlikely. Is that uh, uh, is 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 that he would be taking on uh, a, a significant European power, forty million people, lots of resistance, lots of violence, endless endless war, and uh, and, and and the Russians uh, wouldn't thank him for it. So. Um, so, so my, my, my feeling that is that this is, a, is, is about trying to... Um, uh, there's a lot of bluster and bluff that basically he would like uh, the West, without him uh, risking any uh, military uh, adventure, to, to accept uh, that uh, Ukraine um, is, in a sense, in the, in the Russian sphere of influence. That's what he wants. And... Um, uh, and, 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 and you know whether whether that, that might not necessarily mean uh, uh, a Kremlin-controlled government in in Kiev, um, uh, but uh, but but uh, but uh, it, NATO accepting that Ukraine would never join NATO. Right. So, what about Germany? And Germany's response to this crisis, Mark, <coughs> has been described as a joke. Uh, Ukrainian arms requests yeah. have been met by the German <coughs> authorities who proposed to send some helmets or something, 5,000 helmets, and uh, one, uh, one of the Ukrainians quipped, you know, why don't they just send us some pillows <laughs> instead? Um, what, give, well, give us a exactly, brief, yeah. a brief uh, rundown on the dynamics of the relationship with Germany and the role that the gas pipeline plays. And uh, is this Putin's yeah. ultimate weapon? Just give us a little bit on that, thanks. Yeah. Well, it's, it's interesting because when the new uh, German government was installed just recently, um, the Greens were given uh, uh, foreign policy. And in fact, there was some expectation that uh, Merkel's soft line on, on, on Russia and China would be hardened a bit. 
Um, but that that doesn't appear to be uh, uh, happening at all. Look, I, I mean, Germ Germany has effectively been neutralised in its, its foreign policy for a very long time. As you suggest, uh, one third of um, its gas supplies in, you know, from, for, for Western Europe in general <coughs> comes comes from Russia. So they are so they've um, uh, they, they they they've lost any autonomy when it comes to that key strategic area, and um, so. Uh, and, and I would generalise Germany to much of Western Europe, which uh, um, uh, isn't going to react uh, in, with great strength to anything. As I say, I don't think Putin's going to do anything uh, too dramatic. This is all about bluff and poker. But um, uh, but there are there. Are, on the other hand, that Europe is divided in the sense that there are countries that, uh, that will react with greater seriousness. The United Kingdom is one, which is, uh, which yep. is um, uh, providing assistance to Ukrainian forces. And the, and the near neighbours, uh, the, the, those who've had the, the deepest experience of, of, uh, of, 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 of Russian imperialism, Poland and the Baltic states, um, who, Absolutely. Are, who are taking this uh, well, Mark, we're going to have to leave it there. Take care of that cough. I know it's, it's winter over there and you're doing a great job. Um, and uh, we look forward to seeing you either back in Australia or next time we get you on. So thanks so much, Mark, for joining us on Inside the News. We'll keep a close eye on what's happening there, but not quite as close as an eye as you are doing. Thanks, Mark Higgy. Talk, talk soon. Thanks, Ryan. Bye. Thanks, mate.